1962, Mr. Fuller presented a particularly audacious proposal for the geoscope. It was a 200 foot diameter geodesic sphere to be sighted suspended over the East River in New York City in full view of the United Nations. It was a big idea for sure, and it was one that he, he felt could truly inform and, and deeply affect the decision making of this body through, through animations of, of global data, trends, and uh, other information regarding the globe on this sphere. And today, 45 years later, we, we clearly have no less need for this kind of clarity and perspective. But what we do have is improved technology. Today, we don't need one million light bulbs to create a spherical display. We can use LEDs. LEDs are smaller, they're, they're cheaper, they're longer lasting, they're more efficient. Most importantly for this, they're faster. And this speed, combined with today's high-performance microcontrollers, allow us to actually simulate, in this piece, over 17,000 LEDs using just 64. And the way this happens is through the phenomenon of persistence of vision. That as this ring rotates at about 1700 RPM, that's 28 times per second, the equator speed is actually about 60 miles per hour. There are four onboard microcontrollers that each time this ring rotates, <clears throat> it, as it passes the rear of the display, it picks up a position signal. And from that, the, the onboard microcontrollers can extrapolate the position of the ring at all points around the revolution and display arbitrary bitmap images and animations. But this is really just the beginning. In addition to higher resolution versions of this display, my father and I are working on a new patent pending design for a fully volumetric display using the same phenomenon. And it achieves this by rotating LEDs about two axes. So as you can see here, this is an 11 inch diameter circuit board. These blocks represent LEDs. And so you can see that as this disc rotates about this axis, it will create a disc of light that we can control. That's, that's nothing new, that's a propeller clock. That's, the rims that you can buy for your car. But what is new is that when we rotate this disc about this axis, now this disc of light actually becomes a sphere of light. And so we can control that with microcontrollers and create a fully volumetric three-dimensional display with just 256 LEDs. And now this piece is currently in process, due out in May, but what we've done is we've put together a small demo just to show the geometric translation of points into a sphere. And so I've got a little video to show you, but keep in mind that this is with no electronic control, and this is also with only four LEDs. This is actually only about one and a half percent of what the final display will be in May. So take a look. And here you can see it's rotating about the vertical axis only, creating circles. And then as the other axis kicks in, those actually blur into a volume. The uh, shutter speed of the camera actually makes it slightly less effective in this case. But th this piece is due out in May. Um, it'll be on display at the Interactive Telecommunications Spring Show in uh, Greenwich Village, New York City. That's open to the public. Definitely invite you all to uh, come and attend. It's a fantastic show. There's um, hundreds of student innovators with, with fantastic projects. This piece actually will be on display down in the Sierra Simulcast Lounge in the breaks uh, between now and the end of the show. So I'd love to talk to you all and invite you to come down and take a closer look. It's an honor to be here. Thanks very much. Some may call it an obsession. At Rolex, however, the pursuit of excellence is a passion. Finding a pink gold that wouldn't fade over time was just one more challenge. By adding just a touch of platinum, the most noble of metals, Rolex created an exclusive new alloy. We call it Everose Gold. A perfectly blended color of gold that will remain pink forever. Another first in the history of watchmaking only Rolex could have created an ally like Everose.
Some people are always looking for what's new. We at Rolex remain committed to what's best. <laughs>